Now today's video, I'm going to be talking about LaMelo Ball. We all know LaMelo currently plays for the JBA and just a couple months ago, he was playing overseas in Lithuania with his older brother, Leangelo Ball. This video, I just want to strictly focus on LaMelo Ball and just explain to you guys, what if LaMelo Ball didn't leave high school and he still was playing for Chino Hills right now? That's a question we all want to know and we all wish we could see, but as you can see, a lot of things happened since then and LaVar Ball decided to take him out of high school and just put him on a whole different path to make it to the NBA. So let's rewind back when LaMelo Ball was attending Chino Hills during his sophomore year in high school. LaMelo was one of the fans favorites just because one, he was leading a varsity team as a sophomore, and also he was just very entertaining to watch. LaMelo Ball literally was dropping consecutive triple doubles. He had a 92 point game. He was making half court shots, and he was just basically very entertaining to watch. And on top of that, he was playing alongside with his older brother, Leangelo Ball. And we all know Leangelo and LaMelo playing together, they played way better together. So Leangelo Ball, while he was dropping 30 points a game, LaMelo Ball was dropping triple doubles. Before LaMelo left Chino Hills, he was a five-star player, of course, and he was ranked top 10 in the ESPN Top 100. So the route LaMelo was going, he was going to be a McDonald's All-American, and he basically was going to get invited to every single camp that's known, including classics such as the Jordan Brand Classic, the new Allen Iverson Classic, and all those different type of classics. So LaMelo really was that top guy. And I don't think people realize, but LaMelo actually was playing better than Lonzo during his sophomore season in high school. Lonzo was averaging 19 points his senior year in high school before he graduated from Chino Hills. He was averaging 19 points shooting 58 field goal percentage. LaMelo was averaging 21 points shooting 45 field goal percentage his sophomore year. So just imagine if LaMelo would have stayed and just imagine how much he would be averaging right now. He probably would be averaging 40 points a game or maybe 30 just because he got taller. He's more athletic and everything. Just seeing LaMelo playing the JBA, when you just think about it, he's dropping these crazy numbers playing for the JBA, right? So just imagine if he was still playing for Chino Hills, the competition is around the same. So he'll be dropping around the same numbers at Chino Hills. And I just feel like if LaMelo still played for Chino Hills, he probably would be a top three player in the country and have a high chance to be number one. When you just think about this situation, just seeing where LaMelo is at by playing at the JBA right now, it honestly was not worth it. And there was two reasons why LeVar Ball said he pulled LaMelo out of Chino Hills. He said one, because of the head coach. He wasn't getting along with the head coach. And two, he said that he wanted LaMelo to play alongside with Leangelo Ball. Okay, so... The head coach situation, in my opinion, if he didn't like the head coach, he could have just moved LaMelo to a different school. You know, LaMelo could have just went to a different school and just ball over there. And for the Leangelo Ball situation going overseas, honestly, I understand why LaVar wanted LaMelo to go overseas with Leangelo, just because, like I said, Leangelo and LaMelo play better together. And on top of that, the goal was already set for Leangelo to enter the draft after one season overseas. So he just wanted LaMelo to help Leangelo look good. So once he entered the draft, he can get drafted. But as you can see, they went overseas to Lithuania. Then they wasn't getting along with the head coach. They both was riding a bench. And it's just like everything was going bad. So basically he took a high risk. And that's the thing I really don't understand about LeVar Ball. He would take any type of risk to get LaMelo and Leangelo one and done just like Lonzo Ball. It's like he's so passionate to get both of his sons one and done like Lonzo, but he's not realizing that each and one of his sons are different. Lonzo can go one and done, but doesn't mean Leangelo is going to be one and done. And it doesn't mean LaMelo will go one and done. It's a very rare situation. And at the same time, LaVar Ball, he's making history. So if he really ends up getting LaMelo and Leangelo to the NBA, then we can't say nothing about LaVar Ball. All we can do is just be like, wow, we actually see him pull this off. But yeah, you guys, I just wish LaMelo the best. Hopefully this JBA will work out for him and everything goes out as planned. We just got to see what's going to happen. I thank you guys for watching. Please make sure you like and subscribe. Make sure you press the notification button. TK Game, we out.